Centralians, here are the latest news of the week. Centralians honor Dr. Rex Drilon. Japanese University President visits CPU. CPU, a community rich in outreach. CPU Packaging Engineering celebrates 10 years of excellence. College of Agriculture alumni plan grand reunion. High School Class 1967 donates two LCD projectors to CPU High School. Stove Plus holds workshop in CPU. CPU Golden Lions most numbered delegates in the WVRAA 2017. For the details, Centralians commemorated the 46th death anniversary of Dr. Rex Didrilon through a memorial service at Evangelical Memorial Garden, Haro Iloilo City, last February 21. He was the 14th and the first Filipino president of Central Philippine University. CPU President Dr. Chidoro C. Robles welcomed everyone and encouraged them to follow the footsteps of Dr. Drilon's central spirit. A message by Professor Evangelica Padernilia in honor of the former president's 22nd death anniversary was read by CPU faculty and staff Carmel Francis Romero, Hermely Halandon, and K. Arden Gallo saying, Dr. Drilon is remembered in the history of Central Philippines University as the fulfillment of the dreams of his predecessors, the Filipinization of administrative leadership. Moreover, a quartet of pastors, Rev. Jonil Howard Hiko, Rev. Francis Neil Halandoon, Rev. Samuel Escubin, and Rev. Roger Kimpo rendered a song entitled, Once to Every Man and a Nation, a favorite of the late Dr. Drilon. Also, Rev. Chris Amorsolo Shan's reflection recognized Dr. Drilon as someone who devoted his time, energy, and life for the advancement of CPU. The life of Barnabas left an outstanding legacy. And I can say the same thing about Dr. Rex de Vinagracia Drilon, who is being remembered as the first Filipino president of Central Philippine University. A floral offering was then made to the tomb of Dr. Delon, led by the CPU president, vice presidents, deans, directors, members of the board of trustees, and the CPU corporation. To end, Dr. Robles launched the Dr. Rex D. Drelon Professional Chair for Literature and said, We want to further remember the legacy of Dr. Drelon through the pages of a book. He initiated and conducted a concert that raised some funds and we decided this year through the recommendation of uh, Professor Krista Huyong that we will uh, provide a, re a reason for students to think about what Rex Triron is for CPU. On the other hand, Reverend Noriko Higuchi, president of Baiko Gakuin University in Japan, made a two-day visit to Central Philippine University on February 21 to 22 with two of her staffs and 10 Japanese students taking up an education course to observe kindergarten, elementary, and college classes here at CPU. Reverend Higuchi and her delegation met with CPU President Dr. Chidoro C. Robles and proceeded to the Kindergarten Department and the College of Education on the first day. The delegation then visited the Elementary Department on the second day. Baiko Gakuin University is a Christian university in Japan with a motto, Let us walk as children of light, drawn from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. Professor Lailani Fatima Ledes Matrompeta, Director of CPU Office of International Relations and Cooperation, facilitated the visit. 
Meanwhile, the CPU Junior High School Outreach Team Leader, Mrs. Juvi D. Guatelara, spearheaded a dental mission that was integrated with the Ed School's Division of Iloilo and Iloilo Dental Association in cooperation with the Social Work Department and Community Engagement and Service Learning Center, or CESLC, in Iniligan Elementary School on February 15, 2017. Attendees of the said activity were Badyangan Vice Mayor Erwin Roy Gahe, Iniligan Barangay Captain Gerald Pahadura, PTA President Rudy Daton Jr., teachers, pupils, and parents. A dental team headed by Dr. Romana Rabago brought medicines, tooth extraction equipment, and other necessary materials. Dr. Grace Arandela Hamili from DepEd also lectured on proper hygiene. CPU team headed by Professor Levi de los Santos, assisted by Professor Carol K. Blando and Professor Teresa Balofinos with the Social Work Department student volunteers, distributed hygiene kits of toothbrushes, toothpastes, and liquid hand wash to each grade level and a first aid kit for the school. Furthermore, school principal Mrs. Mary Fe Panoligan said that the integration of CPU and Dep Ed Dental Mission was the first ever in the history of Iniligan Elementary School. Moving on, uh, the CPU Packaging Engineering Department celebrated its 10th year of existence in the university with a the theme, 10 Years of Excellent Packaging Engineering Education, through a homecoming and gala night at Amigo Terrace Hotel last February 18, 2017. Mr. Ron Adrian Ginaldo, an alumnus and the first magna cum laude of the college, graciously delivered the opening remarks to a personal yet expressive message. On the other hand, Engineer Bernie Cangrejo delivered the State of Department address, highlighting the accomplishments of the department throughout the years. Next slide. And how about the current status of the packaging engineering program? Okay. For the first year, obviously, K-12, walang kita estudyante. Second year, we have 56 second year packaging engineering students. Where are you? Second year, please stand up to be recognized. Apart from the students, alumni, faculty, and staff, the event was also graced by its PAC leader, Dr. Lejo C. Branya, former CPU President Dr. Juanito M. Acanto, current CPU President Dr. Chidora C. Robles, other administrative university officials, and partner companies. The celebration was also in line with the 80th anniversary of the College of Engineering, and CPU is the first and only university that offers packaging engineering in the country. The college produced 19 pioneer graduates with 10 cum laudes and now it has hundreds of graduates working all over the country and abroad. Similarly, the CPU College of Agriculture is to hold a grand reunion for its alumni on October 20 to 21 this year to be held at Bacolag Pavilion Hotel. Hotel room reservations have already been made and another planning is on the way for a tour of the whole Negros Island to campaign for more attendees to the reunion. On the other hand, Director Larry Nationalis challenges the College of Agriculture alumni members that it is high time for them to encourage the next generation to enroll in CPU College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences or CARES since the alumni who are in the government service and in the agricultural sector will soon be retiring. He stressed out that the government needs new centralians to lead the way. While Mr. Dan Dorilio, CPU Alumni Association President, remarked that the CPU College of Agriculture alumni are in the forefront of leadership in CPU Alumni Association with five officers who are graduates of the college, including himself. The college can also boast to have the most number of alumni who became presidents of state colleges and universities and the most number of regional directors.
Mr. Dorillo further said that the first night of the grand reunion will be open for all Centralians, which will be a cultural show presenting CPU's finest, consists of cultural groups such as CPU handbell ringers, Sari South dance troupe, and some winners of the University Day 2017. 2016 Miss Parao Regata Vanessa Che Wing and Engineer Riego Ferrer Garcia, one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines, will also be invited to give testimonies since the two are alumni of CARES. Meanwhile, Mrs. Delma Umadhai reported that more than 50 pages of the souvenir program already have subscribers. The group, though, still campaigns for more alumni subscribers. Correspondingly, in the celebration of their 50th grand reunion, CPU High School Batch 1967 visited the CPU High School building and donated two Epson LCD projectors on February 21, 2017. The said projectors will be installed in HS116 and in the Science Building Room 101. CPU High School Principal Professor Jonet S. Halbuena thanked the batch for their donation and for their continued support to CPU High School. She assured that the donations will be utilized for the academic advancement of CPU High School students. Meanwhile, the fourth edition of Stove Plus Workshop was held at the Knowledge for Development Center CPU from February 20 to 24 and attended by representatives of French NGO, Jerez, a guest from India and Cambodia. The workshop's objective was to present an economic development with alternative technology to initiate fuel saving and entrepreneurship, particularly for low-income communities. Indigenous and innovative stoves were presented. First is the clay model cook stoves, which reminds us of our clay projects in elementary. Second is the more innovative models with their prescribed fuels, such as charcoal, wood, and blended material briquettes. One of the stoves shown was designed by a former CPU agricultural engineering faculty, entrepreneur, and owner of Aprotec Enterprises, engineer Alexis Daniel Bellonio. The popular stove, which he currently manufactures by batch, is called the Bellonio Rice Hall Gasifier Stove, or RHGS. Included in the workshop were input sessions and group presentations as well as boiling water demonstration led by College of Agriculture, Resources, and Environmental Sciences or CARES Department Coordinator, Engineer Aris Roda di Romaliosa, who also shared ideas in biomass production and briquettes production. Finally, in sports, CPU Golden Lions competed in Western Visayas Regional Athletic Association or WVRAA Meet 2017 last February 5-11 to at San Jose Antique. The CPU Golden Lions sent 55 athletes and 17 coaches, assistant coaches, and officials as a part of the Iloilo delegation. CPU had the highest number of delegation among schools from Iloilo. A total of 65 gold medals, 14 silver medals, and 18 bronze medals were garnered by CPU Golden Lions. 13 gold medals, 7 silver medals, and 8 bronze medals from elementary level, while 52 gold medals, 7 silver medals, and 10 bronze medals from secondary level. Moreover, Noel A. Cerilia and his tennis players Lamperero and Naulakha will be representing Region 6 and the Nationals. And those were the latest updates of the week. You may check the Centralian link online at www.cpu.edu.ph for more details. This has been Irene Olependo for Centralian Link Weekly Update.